with Marcy Miller of Intel's Automotive Strategic Marketing Group, and we are here at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Marcy, Intel obviously has made the development of autonomous cars a huge priority recently, yes. and earlier this year the company announced a 100 vehicle test fleet. Yep. Tell us about that. What exactly is Intel testing with this fleet? Well, with this fleet, we hope to kind of expand uh, what we know about what these vehicles need to be uh, have level four autonomy. So we're going to build out these fleet with a handful of different types of vehicles, um, updating the sensor suites and really honing in on our technology and our algorithms that no not only help us make them better and more, more efficient for the industry, but also help our partners in what those production vehicles need to look like. So today, Intel announced a partnership with Warner Brothers to help supply content to future semi-autonomous vehicles. Yep. What exactly will that look like? So our collaboration with Warner Brothers is really exciting. One of the other things that Intel has um, has been talking about is the $7 trillion passenger economy uh, by 2050. And so what that means is that the autonomous vehicle, even though we're focusing on the technology inside, has a much greater impact for social and consumer purposes and, and creates industries that we, we don't maybe even realize today. And so with this uh, collaboration with Warner Brothers, we're really excited because we can reinvent or recreate what the experience will be inside for the consumer. So we're gonna work on that 100 vehicle fleet. We will have a dedicated vehicle where we can reimagine or reevaluate and recreate or, or create a new, I should say, experience inside the vehicle that takes advantage of content that um, and screens and, and other areas of the vehicle that you don't need anymore as a driver that a passenger can watch a movie or maybe even create the inside of their vehicle to be their favorite um, their favorite Warner Brothers uh, experience like the Batmobile. Um, or maybe even leverage some AR or VR type of capabilities and instead of seeing the cityscape for driving through um, downtown Los Angeles, maybe you create it as Hog Hogwarts or Gotham City or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's really exciting and, and the opportunities are endless, but we're going to take this collaboration to kind of the next level with this 100 vehicle fleet. So part of that 100 vehicle fleet we are actually working on now, you'll start seeing them on the roads and um, the, again, they're R&D vehicles and those will roll out the beginning of next year. Can you tell us what we have behind us? Yes, absolutely. What is this car? So behind us what we have is um, one of our older data collection vehicles. So this is a vehicle that we outfitted about a year and a half ago. Um, we have them driving around Chandler, Arizona collecting data for, uh, for maps, for algorithms, for training of the vehicle. Um, and this is, uh, is one of the vehicles that will be outfitted to fit that 100 car fleet um, and updated with that new sensor as well as compute technology. Thank you. You're welcome.